G'day everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. My name is Kathy. These are my favourite types of videos to film and while you're in lockdown or isolation, you might enjoy looking at what's in my makeup bag. On the show today, I have a what's in my makeup bag to share with you. This is the Truce 23 from Louis Vuitton. It is a vintage item. I bought it pre-loved off the pre-loved market and it's in really good condition. Sometimes when you buy pre-loved items from Louis Vuitton, the interiors aren't the best or the exterior doesn't match the interior and there's sometimes a certain scent because they have been pre-loved, but this one was in really good condition. The only thing I would say about it was that the zipper has tarnished slightly, but that can be easily fixed. Um, Louis Vuitton can fix that for me, but I really don't think it's necessary. I like how it adds to the aesthetic of the bag because it is a vintage item. So let's get into the video. This is a What's In My Truth 23 makeup bag. This bag holds quite a bit and I have different configurations of things that I keep in this bag. I packed this because I was staying overnight at my parents' place. A little bit about the bag. So it has this wipeable lining, which is really good because it's a cosmetic case after all. It has these three elasticized holders, which are really great. They come in handy if you want to stand bottles upright. And as you can see, I've got a bottle of Chanel Mademoiselle, my favorite fragrance, standing upright in one of them. And then it has an open slip pocket on the other side, if you can see that, which is quite large and I keep quite a few items in there too. And then you've also got the middle section which you can fit things in as well. So this is just one example of how I'm using my bag and let's get into it. So um, I keep a little first aid kit here. These are just some medications, eye drops, Band-Aid, hay fever medication, Panadol, and these are some sleeping pills or PM, Tylenol PMs for in case you've got a headache at night. Um, this is my favorite cosmetic item. It is the Hourglass. What's this one called? It's the Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Edit Palette. And this one is divine. It has the powder for touch-ups, um, bronzer, and a highlighter and a blush. And so it's perfect for traveling. I also keep this Chanel Le Beige's palette in here. And this one has um, a couple of eyeshadows, which is perfect because it's got a couple of mattes, a dark shade for smoky eye, and it also has a shimmering shade there too. And then I also keep a hair elastic and a little clip to tie back my fringe with because it's a bit long at the moment. Well, it's in between. Um, and then I've got this little spatula to use for my pot creams. I have this beautiful YSL Duo Eye Smoker. So this is the top end and that is um, a really dark brown. And then on the bottom it has a really beautiful shimmer in a light gold colour. and. I don't know what the names of the colors are, but you could probably tell me, I could probably see what they are on the YSL website, but it's um, the smoker number three. So it's got the dark brown and the gold shimmer at the bottom. And this is my eyebrow pencil. This one is from Chanel. It's a really nice color. It's waterproof and it's in the shade Blonde Tender or 806 and it has a spoolie at the back. I really like that. So that's everything that's in that pocket there. And then in the middle section, I have this little pouch, which I keep some of my jewelry in. Uh, what have I got in here? Oh, I've just got a pair of earrings in here and my necklace, which I will be wearing for the whole weekend 
and it's just the other earring there. So I really like protecting my jewellery in this. As a base, I have the Bobbi Brown Face Base, Vitamin Enriched. I love this stuff. It smells of lemon sorbet. It's so divine, you could eat it. And my favourite eye cream, which is the Clinique All About Eyes. Lord knows we need some. And then I also have a Bobbi Brown Corrector. And this one is in the shade Bisque. I love that. And I have another YSL lipstick here, and this one is in shade 15. And this one is really good too because I can also use it on my cheeks as a blush if I wanted to. And so that's everything in the middle and that all packs neatly in there. And then I have my Chanel perfume and this one is a 35ml. Then I have some makeup brushes from Zueva. So I only keep a couple of them with me and I do my whole face with these brushes. So I have the, this is a concealer brush, buffing brush. And then this is the Luxe Crease Eyeshadow Brush, 228, this is my favourite one. And then this one here is the Highlighting Brush, that's the 105. And this one is the 106 Powder Brush. And these are so good because you can wash them and they dry like within no time. This one will take a bit longer to dry, but these three, are essential in my opinion. And then I've got one more pocket bit here and in here I've got a few items. I have the YSL Touche Clat in a special edition Love Hearts of course because I love my love hearts. And then I've got the YSL Mascara in the Star version that was from Christmas and I just cracked that one open. So it needs a couple more goes before it becomes my favourite mascara. And then this here is one that I found in the archives of my makeup drawer and it's a concealer from Chanel and the packaging, they don't make them like this anymore. How divine is that? And it's really good coverage too. So that's a bit more of a concealer if you wanted to use that as like a foundation. And then this, I love this. This is the Balms Essential from Chanel and it's this beautiful bronzy shade and you could essentially use this for your whole, ha whole face. It's a golden light shade, so it's the darkest one. And I can use this as a bronzer, traditionally bronzing highlighter, you can use it as an eyeshadow and a lip balm. So you can essentially do away with all of this and just use these two products, maybe these three products, okay maybe these four products to do your whole face with. But yeah, so that is everything that fits in this bag and I absolutely love it. I've wanted this bag for so long, but because Louis Vuitton don't make it anymore, you had to buy it or look for it in the pre-loved market. It is Louis Vuitton made in France. It has a date code here, which is something, something 854TH or something. So it's made in France. And it is just divine. And the zipper, with a little bit of soap, it zips up all the way. It's perfect. And I love it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and have a tops day.